Uh, I have an answer to a question I took on notice uh, yesterday from Senator Lambie in question time regarding the matter of ordinary uh, seaman yeah, Edward Teddy Sheehan. As so poignantly outlined by Senator Lambie yesterday, ordinary seaman Sheehan was killed in action on the 1st of December 1942, actions that displayed conspicuous gallantry. Sheehan was the subject of a contemporary nomination process which resulted in the posthumous award of mention in dispatches for his actions in 1942. This award was reviewed by the Defence and uh, Honours and Awards Appeals Tribunal in its 2011 to 2013 Valour Inquiry, which recommended that no action be taken to award ordinary seaman Sheehan a Victoria Cross or other further forms of recognition for his gallantry or valour. The government accepted the recommendations of the Valour Inquiry in, 19, uh, sorry, in, in 2013. The Victoria Cross for Australia is Australia's highest decoration for gallantry and is the only award the Australian Honours and Awards System that is approved by the Sovereign. Clear government policy, informed by Her Majesty the Queen's expressed views, would only allow the award of the Victoria Cross in light of compelling new evidence or in the case of manifest injustice. In, 19, sorry, in 2019, the Tribunal conducted a review of the Valor's Inquiry recommendation in relation to the Sheehan Award and subsequently reported to Government. Having received confirmation last night in following up from uh, Senator Lambie's question, I'm able to advise the Senate today that the Government's view that the 2019 review by the Tribunal did not present any compelling new evidence that might support reconsideration of the Valor uh, inquiry's recommendation. That is also my view and that is also the view of defence. It is a very difficult decision, but I believe in the circumstances the right decision. Mr President, oh, Deputy President, Snuck in. I must emphasise that the outcomes of the government decision in no way detracts from the service, the bravery and the sacrifice of ordinary seaman Teddy Sheehan. The Royal Australian Navy rightly continues to commemorate the service of Teddy Sheehan in a number of ways, including through the naming of a Collins-class submarine, HMAS Sheehan. This is a rare form of commemoration in recognition of Teddy Sheehan's exceptional service to our nation and for his ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. In July 1940, the mortally wounded leading seaman Jack Mantle trained his weapon on a swarm of Nazi Stukas attacking HMAS Foilback. Jack Mantle was awarded the Victorian Cross. Two years later, the HMAS Armadale was hit by Japanese aircraft and began to sink rapidly. 18-year-old ordinary seaman Teddy Sheen was wounded during the attack, but rather than flee, he strapped himself to his anti-aircraft cannon and opened fire. That decision to tie his fate to a gun sinking to the bottom of the ocean brought down two planes and helped save the lives of 49 crew. You have the power to recommend Teddy for Australia's highest military honour, the Victorian Cross. So our question from Tasmania is this, what more could Teddy Sheen have possibly done to have earned a Victorian Cross? Uh, Senator Lambie, I am very well aware of the heroism uh, and the service and the sacrifice of Teddy Sheehan. He did the Australian Navy a great credit and he is worthy of significant acknowledgement. Uh, the issue you raise in terms of a posthumous Victoria Cross is a very challenging policy issue uh, which does not in any way detract from uh, his worthiness in terms of his service. Uh, Senator Lambie, I will take that question on notice because I'll have to uh, find out the status of this and I will come back to you at the earliest possible opportunity. The government and yourself have had the Teddy Sheen report for the Awards and Honours Tribunal since July 2019. We're nearly 12 months on. Your government and yourself have blocked every effort to get it released because you say you're preparing a response. How long does it take to say accept or does not accept to a document? What is the hold up? And again, I will, uh, Senator Lambie, take that on notice and get back to you at the earliest possible opportunity. I do need to check with the Minister for Veterans Affairs and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Gary Ivory, the nephew of Teddy Sheen, wrote to the Prime Minister in February asking for an update on when to expect a response from the government. He's yet to hear back. Teddy's been waiting for recognition for 78 years. How long is the Prime Minister planning to keep his nephew waiting? I will take that on notice and I will get back to you at the earliest possible opportunity. And I do, as I said, I do understand 
uh, the passion uh, for his service and his contribution to our nation, not only by Tasmanians, uh, but by all naval personnel, and in fact all Australians. But as I said, uh, the awarding of a posthumous VC is not a simple issue, but I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can, Senator Lambie. You have my word on that.